Hi, Maria. Great to see you. I'm here to ask you 40 questions in a very short amount of time. Ready? I'm ready when you are. Let's go. What's the coolest thing about crunching numbers? It tells a story. What? Know whether you're a success or failure from the numbers. What advice would you give to someone who hates crunching numbers? Just do it. That's my best advice. What's the best personal decision you make on a monthly basis after you look at the numbers? Paying off my credit card every month, that interest is a killer. Maria, here's a tough one. Does one and one always equal two? Lots of people would like to believe it can equal three, but it's always two. It sure is. The bank just up to my credit card limit. Should I say yes or no? If you're disciplined, say yes. If not, turn it down. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Five credit cards, is that too much for someone to have? Financial nightmare. How about three? Much better. Maria, which is better to use every day? Credit card, debit, or cash? Well, free, free credit is always good, but it depends on your personality. If you know that you can't have the discipline to pay it off when it's due, then go for cash. But really and truly, the best option is a combination. Talking about options, when someone is on a budget and it's a recession, can that person really save? Of course, if you separate the needs from the wants, you can always save. Ah, so how much of your salary should you save? That depends on many things. Your personal lifestyle, how many dependents you have, your borrowings, but at the end of the day, set a goal and stick to it. That's not easy though, is it? No, it's not. Which is more important, spending on things or experiences? Experiences. Feeding your mind and soul will always be better than hmm, a pair of shoes sometimes. <laughs> I can see why that would be a tough choice. What's the worst rainy day you've had? Is there ever really a rainy day? I just view it as another experience. And the best investment you've ever made? My education. Oh, Maria. You caught me at the end of the day, so I'm going to pack up. Why don't you join me for some coffee? I would love to, but before we go, there's a, here's a question from Desi. She's no longer in the singles club and wants to know what her next steps are. Hi, Maria. I'm 45 and I just got remarried. Should I open a joint account with my husband or should we keep things separate? I earn more than him, by the way. Good question, Desi. Joint accounts should only be for special purpose for shared expenses. Other than that, what is yours is yours. At 45, Maria, what is the one thing that a woman should own to feel financially secure? Her choices. What's the one thing about money that people don't really understand? It disappears. What is the one thing about money that people get? We all need it. What's the one mistake people make with their money? They make it a priority. Maria, I hear you are something of a business coach. What does it feel like to rescue entrepreneurs from failing? Working with entrepreneurs who put their blood and sweat into their business ideas and seeing that work, that's about the best part and the most rewarding part of my job. What happens when you can't? Can't? Can't is not a word I understand. If it doesn't work out, we dust it off and we try all over again. What should businesses, large and small, understand about a recession? Well, two things really. A recession is a self-fulfilling prophecy. That means if all you think about the recession, you'll end up in recession. But you should also think about, is this going to be the new norm? So take the time to re-engineer, restructure, and get your business in better shape. Isn't it funny how we sometimes perform best when we have no choice, Maria? Funny and sad, but is there such a thing as a silver lining in a recession? Of course there is, it's called opportunity. Can the business grow during a recession? Definitely, some people thrive on it. What's the one thing a small business should do during a recession? You should really focus on, this could really be the long haul. So you need to really think about, what do I need to do differently? And can I survive in the long run? That's a scary thought, surviving. Is a bad economy the right time to launch a good business idea? A good business idea is a good business idea. It doesn't matter the economy, it doesn't matter the environment. If you have a, biz a good business idea, it will work. What's the one thing, Maria, you still have from your childhood? Oh, every single card ever given to me by anybody. And your favorite book from childhood? That would be Famous Five. I love investigations and solving mysteries. In fact, from that book, I thought I was going to be an FBI agent. <laughs> Maria, what's the best part about being a mom? 
That is a gift. I just love being a mom. All of it, good and bad. What advice do you give to your three girls about money? Don't spend what you don't have. What book do you recommend people read to get smarter about money? Um, I'm not a big fan on financial books, so I'll give you 30 second advice. Find something you love, work hard at it, and the money will come. And when it does, do not take it for granted. Great advice, Maria. What country have you ever visited that you'd love to go back to? Italy. <laughs> what was your favorite thing to do there? I love the history. I love the architecture. But of course, doing all that while drinking, a glass of wine, eating gelato, and watching the fine meal specimens, of course. <laughs> and they are fine. What's the one country you'd love to visit? Thailand. Oh wow, I'd love to go there too. How should I budget for it? Well, first of all, think of the timing. That can really change an expensive to cheap trip. Best time, September. Then look for all the packages. Look for Airbnb. It's really, really much easier and cheaper to travel now. So set your goals, set your budget, and go for it. It's 2018, Maria. What resolutions have you made? Never to be late again. And your top resolution about money? Invest more and wiser. What's the one small financial change that women can take or make to create a big impact in their lives in 2018? Own it. On a scale from one to five, how happy are you right now, Maria? 4.65. <laughs> if your life was a song, what would the title be? There ain't no valley deep enough to keep me down. What's the best way to decompress? I would have to say swim in the ocean. What would you like to be Thank remembered you. for? My fearlessness and my positivity. And my final question, Maria. If you had to give your 16-year-old self one piece of advice, what would it be? Apart from studying for your levels, I would say just love who you are. Indeed, Maria. Thanks so much for answering our 40 questions. One more thing. I'm booking you for an appointment in January, so see you soon. I'll pencil you in. <laughs> Bye, Juliet. Bye, Maria.